Thanks, Nazila. Next, we have Jared Lane Jr. Jared is a freshman at West Feliciana High. He serves as a member of the student council and was named governor in youth legislature. He enjoys studying history and geography, and in college, he plans to major in political science and government. Jared is founder of Healthy Life. Let's welcome Jared to the stage. Hello, my name is Jared Lane, and I am the founder of Healthy Life. Show of hands here, who loves to bake? Well, I know I do. From a young age, I've always loved to bake, whether it was box cakes or homemade recipes. It was always so soothing to me. And also, I fondly remember stealing bits of cookie dough out of the kitchen until I started making my own. So where did this idea come from? Well, I decided to have a combination of healthy, delicious, tasty with cookie dough and cookies. And it gave me healthy life. Now, there is just not enough of inexpensive cookie dough or even quality cookies on the market today. But healthy life has a better solution from our vegan cookie dough to our gluten-free cookies. There are huge opportunities with the cookies market projected to hit 44 billion in 2025 with the 5% growth rate to the frozen dough market projected to hit 32 billion in 2030 with a nearly 5% growth rate. Now, almost everybody loves cookies, right? That's why Healthy Life has such a broad target market of three and up, from older individuals to younger individuals who just want better tasting cookies. Now, you can get all of Healthy Life's products on HealthyLifeLA.com and in the future at a general store in St. Francisville, Louisiana. Now, we stand out. We're healthier, inexpensive, and simply, and simply, simply just better than the competition. Now, everyone's a fan, from Superintendent Hollis Milton to Vice President Danielle Mack at the Mary Baird Perkins Cancer Center. Now it costs $1.97 to make one unit of peanut butter and cinnamon cookies. We'll sell that for $5 and profit a little over $3. Now, judges, all we need is some dough. <laughs> it costs $5,500 to officially get our business up and rolling. But with a $500 personal investment for me, I'm asking you today, judges, for $5,000. And I'm sure after you indulge in some of those grab and go goodness in front of you, that there won't be a problem. <laughs> Thank you, and I look forward to rolling into some dough with you. Can can we taste the cookie dough, or does it have to be baked? So that is edible cookie dough. Okay. You, it's like you eat it like ice cream, okay. but it's just in bite form. So the peanut butter cookie is delicious. Yes. Um, how do you, from a health and safety, like what are the rules that you have to stay within with this kind of a food product? So all... So our products are gluten-free. The peanut butter cinnamon cookies are gluten-free. So we produce that in a gluten-free environment. We heavily sterilize all of our utensils, spoons, pots and pans in order to really make our product be gluten-free because we don't want anybody getting sick from this. Is it worth $5, that cookie? How, was it $5 good? It, it's four in a pack. That's just a sample. Oh, it's four cookies for, for five dollars. Yes. That's much that's much more uh <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for clarifying. So are you selling cookies now? You're baking cookies now? Yes, so we our our website is live right now. We are accepting orders at healthylifela.com. We have had numerous sales already and we are looking forward to having more. 
And then tell me about your testimonials. Are you getting going out and giving cookies to people who are influencers to have them share testimonials, or how is that working? Yeah, so I met uh, Ms. Mack at the CEO Roundtable, and I just connected and followed up with her and got her in testimonial. I'm currently looking to get several more testimonials from, like, um, John Pastrick, the WBRZ anchor. We are looking to get a testimonial from him. him. And Superintendent Hollis Milton is my superintendent. That's great. So I saw in here you had a pretty pretty robust marketing plan. And can you share what, what how you plan to get the name, besides web, like physically, how you plan to get the name out and sell these things? Yeah, so our biggest marketing tool will be word of mouth. So really selling our cookies would be part of their marketing plan. But we also plan to do social media work primarily on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter to really cover all of our age groups. And our marketing will be modern, and it will tailor to the, our age group. I thought I saw something in there about going to actual sporting events. Were you yes. planning on having a booth or something? So with local festivals like Christmas in the Country in San Francisville, we hope to set up a booth to sell our products and spread the word of our products, and also at local football games, baseball games, and soccer games.